Hello and welcome to the Full Stack Web Development course by Eduonix. My name is Brad Traversy and I'll be your instructor for this course. So before we get started, I'll just provide you with some information about myself. I have uh, around 12 years experience as a web developer and programmer. And for the last four years or so, I've been instructing and teaching courses much like this one. I specialize in JavaScript technology such as Node.js, Angular, jQuery, as well as back-end development with languages like PHP and Ruby. I have dozens of courses available at eduonics.com if you're interested. So what is this course about? This is by far the largest, most in-depth course that I've done. It includes over 20 web technologies within five categories. There are 40 plus projects, mini projects, and code samples. And by the end of this course, you should be able to call yourself a full stack web developer. And that's someone that's comfortable working with both front end and back end technologies. So you should be able to create user interfaces with HTML and CSS, as well as build back end database driven applications. All right, so there's five areas or parts to this course. Uh, we have the front end, the back end, databases, other essential technologies, and debugging and tools. All right, so each area has four to six sections, and then each section has four to 12 lectures. And a lecture can include one to six videos and also includes the source code that was used in that lecture. So now I just want to very quickly and briefly go over each technology and I just listed some of the aspects that uh, we'll be learning about in each one. So for the front end, we'll start with HTML uh, at the, the very basic level. We'll learn about tags and attributes. We'll create lists, forms, tables, etc. And we'll also build a simple HTML template. We will use a little bit of CSS, but I don't want to really get into it because we do have a... Um, a section dedicated to CSS. Then we'll move to HTML5 and this is a little more advanced. We will be working with some JavaScript to use some of the APIs um, such as web storage, geolocation. We'll also work with Canvas, SVG and also the new video and audio tags. Then we'll move to CSS and CSS3. We'll talk about positioning, gradients, transitions, pseudo classes, and we'll build a CSS3 drop down menu. Then we'll move to Twitter Bootstrap, which is a front end HTML and CSS framework. We'll look at different components like the navbar, jumbotron, alerts. We'll look at the grid system and we'll build a custom Bootstrap theme. For JavaScript, we'll learn all the basics of JavaScript programming, variables, arrays, um, object oriented programming, form validation. And we'll also build a GitHub profile extractor using JavaScript and Ajax. Okay, and we'll use the GitHub API. For jQuery, we'll talk about selectors, DOM manipulation, events, and we're going to build a jQuery image slideshow. For backend technologies, we have Node.js, which is basically JavaScript on the server. Uh, we'll talk about NPM, which is Node Package Modules. We can install and use different modules. Express, which is a web framework that we can use with Node. Template engines such as EJS and uh, Mustache. We'll also build a, an authentication application using Node.js, Passport, and some other modules. All right, so we'll be able to uh, log in, register, access control, and all that. Meteor.js is a framework that runs on the front end and back end, and we'll be learning about templates, collections, subscriptions, and Meteor uses MongoDB on both the front end and back end, so we'll be working with that as well. And we'll build a, uh, a quick to-do list. For Angular, we'll be working with Angular 2, components, routing, observables, events, and we'll build a simple blog system. PHP, we'll talk about all the basics of PHP and then move on to object-oriented programming. Uh, we'll integrate MySQL, we'll talk about super global sessions, cookies, and we'll build an application there as well. Ruby on Rails, we'll talk about the whole MVC framework, uh, controllers, models, views, and also routing, and we'll build a blog in Ruby on Rails as well. For databases, we're going to have a couple uh, relational database technologies, such as MySQL. We'll talk about all the basics, tables, queries, 
um, selects, inserts, joining, and we'll also integrate with PHP. We'll build a, uh, a messaging app. For Postgres, which is another relational database, we'll look at the PSQL client, we'll learn commands to manage databases and tables, uh, we'll work with PG Admin 4, which is a, a GUI program to manage our databases, and I'll also show you how to integrate Postgres with PHP. MongoDB, which is a NoSQL database, we'll be working with collections, we'll make queries to fetch and insert data, um, we do that through documents, and we'll also be integrating Mongo with Node.js using an ORM called Mongoose. For CouchDB, which is another NoSQL database, we'll check out Foxton, which is a, a web interface to manage our database. I'll show you how to create views and design documents, and we'll talk a little bit about replication. I'll also show you how to integrate Couch with Node.js. Then we'll move on to some other essential technologies, Memcached, which is a caching system. I'll show you how to work with that with Telnet inside Linux. Uh, we'll also work with lib memcache tools, which is a set of tools that allows us to manage uh, our key value pairs in our caching system. Redis is similar to memcache, except it allows us to have data persistence. So it's basically a, a database slash caching system. We'll look at the different data types it can hold and much more. Markdown is a markup language, very simple to use. Um, it's used to create uh, documents, uh, readme files, and so on. So we'll look at how to create headings, lists, text formatting such as bold and italics, and stuff like that. SAS is a CSS uh, preprocessor, and it allows us to use variables in our CSS, mixins, which are like functions. Uh, we can extend classes and we can use partials okay and we'll be building a, a SAS template as well so then we'll move on to version control and debugging so git is a version a very popular version control system I'll show you how we can create local repositories as well as push to remote repositories like github we'll also be working with grunt and gulp which are task runners We'll do things like concatenate JavaScript files, minify JavaScript. Uh, there's a web server plugin for Gulp that I'll show you how to use, and also a linting tool called JS Hint. Then we'll dive into Chrome Developer Tools. I'll show you all the different tabs, how to use debugging, how to use the console, inspect your code, things like that. And then we'll move on to PHP, where we'll talk about the different types of errors, different functions to help us debug, and also some of the configuration options. All right, so those are the five different areas that we'll be looking at. Now, this is a list of just some, some of the projects that are included. It's not all of them. Uh, and there's projects of all sizes. There's, there's big applications, there's mini projects, and then there's just simple code samples. All right, so we have a simple HTML template. I'm just going to go through these really quick. Uh, bootstrap theme a jQuery slider, uh, an Ajax GitHub profile finder application, a PHP job board, a CSS3 drop-down menu, a Ruby on Rails blog, a PHP with PostgreSQL blog. We'll build a RESTful JSON API, and we'll create a CD collection database. We'll also build an HTML5 audio player, an Angular 2 website, a PHP bookmarker using sessions, a SAS template, a to-do list using Node.js and Redis, a page caching system with Memcached, a passport authentication system with Node.js and Passport, a PHP and MySQL messaging app, and an HTML5 note-taking app using local storage. All right, so these are just some of the projects that we'll be building throughout this huge course. All right, so I hope that wasn't too long of an intro. Uh, I think you guys will really like this, and it may take a while, but just focus and do your best. Try to take everything in, and you'll be creating all kinds of websites and, and web applications. All right, so let's move on and get started.